Hey guys, it's Ryan, and it's very cold. I think somebody forgot to turn off the AC last night. Well, this kind of reminds me of the time I went on an Arctic adventure with my friends. Let me tell you the story. Hey, Peck, it's time to wake up. Scientifically, my station hey. is You're supposed to wake up. Oh, I'll start over. Peck, wake up. Well, I'm already awake. I am the hero penguin Alexander, the great, brave, wonderful, legendary ancestor, the glorious hero of the Rockhopper Penguins. That's a long self-introduction. Listen to me, my descendant Peck. The land far north, the Arctic, is in big trouble. A serious incident is happening. You must save the Arctic and the planet from this catastrophe. What? Me? This is the key to saving the Arctic. I leave it to you, Peck. Maybe if you save the treasure, you can find the Arctic. Combo Bunga! Sounds fun, doesn't it? Like a video game. Oh, awesome! I wonder what the treasure is. Did someone say gummy? I didn't yeah. say it. I bet the treasure is the famous special Arctic hard gummy. Uh, would a hard gummy be good? Okay, it's official. We're all going to the Arctic. Yeah! yeah! Only one problem. How do we get there? Hmm. Swim? No way! I'm not getting wet. Wait, I've got an idea. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. What's Mo building? Aha, just you wait. Blah, blah. <laughs> wow, amazing! Combo Bunga, is that a rocket? Thank you, Mo. Blah, blah. I designed it perfectly. It's based on the principle of the plastic bottle rocket. That's right. You put air into a plastic bottle filled with water. What do you think would happen if you fill up the air and then release it? Compressed air pushes water out and flies away. Okay, let's go. Ah, okay. Ten seconds Whoa. before launch. Nine, eight, coming. Ready. Huh? Oh, gosh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Don't let your guard down. What? There are usually traps in places like this. <laughs> what? What? Crisis is approaching the Arctic. I need your help here in the Arctic now. Mommy! Ah. Ah. Hmm. Something terrible is happening! <laughs> huh? They're starting to move! Who are they? The great enemy I fought so long ago has been revived! What is that thing? Listen to their ferocious roars! Huh, not as ferocious as I remember. That voice! It's good! There! That is exactly the roar of a ferocious dinosaur. Dinosaur? As in, dinosaur, dinosaur! As in, a type of reptile that appeared in the Triassic period from 243.3 million to 232.33 million years ago and dominated the Earth between the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods? Oh my gosh! Uh, do you guys think Gus is just pretending to be a dinosaur? If I know Gus, I'll bet he's running away from a dinosaur while eating gummy bears! Hooray! Yeah! Gus! 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 
It appears he's already been eaten by the dinosaur. Oh gosh! Shouldn't the hero be a little more hopeful? Hey, look! Whoa! Are those gummies? Gummy? What's that? I knew he was running away while eating gummy bears! No way! Gummy! Yummy! Let's follow the gummies! Are these edible? Yes, they are frozen. Huh? Phew! But how? It was long ago I fought these beasts. Back then, the dinosaurs were the kings of the earth. They were formidable foes indeed. Hmm. Dinosaurs are supposed to be gone now. Are you sure about that? Yes, dinosaurs are extinct. Most scientists believe that a long time ago, a large meteorite collided with the Earth. The theory is that the dust kicked up by the meteorite rose into the air and blocked the sunlight, and many creatures, including dinosaurs, could not live. Really? Well, it seems like at least one got frozen and then didn't go extinct! It appears so, and he may be nearby. Don't let your guard down. Gus! Well, I haven't heard him yelling in a while. Yeah, I figured he was already gobbled up. Huh, some hero you are. <laughs> when we find the real dinosaur, I'm gonna show him what's what. Yeah, combo punch, combo punch, combo punch! Gummy bears, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Gummies are the best! I wish we could make you more gummies. Maybe we can! What's all this? It's the ingredients for gummy bears! Sugar, juice, and gelatin! It may be dangerous, so let's make it with grown-ups! And a pot! Why did you have these ingredients? And so much of them! So, I can make lots of gummies anytime, anywhere? What, you guys usually just eat one gummy? Combo bunga! All right, let's use these ingredients to make some big gummy bears for dinosaur. First of all, water! That looks good! Next, add 
gelatin. Okay. Stir one. Mm -hmm. It's melting. Little by little. Heat this up. We've got a gummy base. Ah! What's wrong? I don't have a mold to put this in. What? Then leave it to me! <laughs> it's perfect! Now, all we need to do is... Fill the mold with the gummy mixture! When this hardens... It's done! Oh, Oh, my! Yeah, it's a little weird that you made the mold of yourself. Yum, 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 yum. Yummy! Yup, yummy! Mmm, tasty. It tastes so good when you make it yourself. Yeah, this is the best! The best! <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd get along so well with my mortal enemy. This is certainly better than fighting. But I'm curious, why did the frozen dinosaur come back to life? Because the ice melted. If the ice is melting in other places too, there may be something else going on. What are you doing? Are you a... Yeah, yeah, Yeti! Yeti? You mean to say this is the famed abominable snowman? It's really him! You're not scary at all! What is this snow person doing here? Yeah. Is your home in trouble? Don't tell me. There's some sort of atrocity affecting your mountain. He wants us to come with him! To that mountain? That's too far! I know something that might help. This ought to get us there quickly. Cowabunga! You brought these things with you? My descendant, what is this? It's a snowmobile. According to my calculations, if we maintain our current speed, we should reach the mountain by morning. Let's hurry. Is this the Yeti's house? It's melting. It looks like the melting ice has everyone worried. I didn't realize the snow was in such danger of melting.
gummies did you have? Faster, faster, faster! Understand? How could such a giant mountain simply melt and collapse? This is nothing short of an Arctic crisis. Mountains melting, dinosaurs coming back to life. Why is it that these disturbances are happening one after the other? Hmm. Perhaps the dinosaurs came back to life because the ice melted. And that can only mean... Global warming. Yes, that's right. Global warming? It means the Earth is getting warmer. Oh my. So that's what's causing this anomaly. <laughs> so, you guys don't have a place now to live, I take it? Yeah. Well then, there's only one thing to do. Yeah! yeah! Let's do it! Yeah? We'll build you a new house. Yep, we'll have to use materials they won't melt. Like this? Alexander, would you mind? Leave it to me! <laughs> Easiest task of my life. our friend. Line those up over there. Descended Peck and friends, thanks to your visit, the Yeti was saved, and we now know the cause of this Arctic crisis. But what can we do to stop the ice from melting further? Each one of us must be careful about how we treat the environment. When we get home, we'll start small, seeing what steps we can take to make a difference. I see. You keep good company, Peck. Yes, I do! Again someday. Okay, guys, I hope you liked my Arctic Adventure episode. Thank you for watching. Remember, it was happy and rise up. Bye. Okay, penguins, your house is done.